Are you working with addresses within monday.com? Let's just say you need to arrange deliveries. Wouldn't it be really helpful for you if you can understand the relationship between one address and another address? Let me show you how you can set up a map view within monday.com so you can view all of this information on a map. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. I'm gonna start out showing you how to use the map view on a specific deliveries board. Before I do that, I want you to think about where the information is coming from for this board, because this shouldn't just be an isolated board. This board should really be the end of a process when something needs to be delivered. So if, let's just say you're a manufacturing company when your manufacturing is completed and you're ready to deliver. So you can have an automation that says, when item is completed, send it to the deliveries board. Or let's just say you're an e-commerce company and you're ready to send out a package, you can do the same process. But I want to just show you this deliveries board and how to use the map function. I, I do think it's important to think about what comes before that within your workflow so you can actually integrate this into your workflow in a meaningful way. Now on this deliveries board, it's pretty straightforward. We have a group with all the different PO numbers that need to be delivered. We have a status and a date. Now I did put a text column as an address. The only reason that I put this here is because I wanted to show you that it does not work in the map view. So if you want to use a map view, do not use a text column. What you need to do is use a location column. So you're going to click on the plus button and search for location. And we're going to add a location column to this board. Now you can see that when I clicked in it, there are already some options. So as I start typing, you can see that things will automatically pop up and I'm going to choose two different locations close to each other. Okay. Now what I need to do is make a map view. So I already did one, but just to show you the process, I'm going to click on add view. I'm going to go to more views and I'm going to click on map and click open in board. And now you can see that my map has opened. I'm just going to resize it. And now I want to play with the settings. So I'm going to click on the three dots and click on settings. And now you can see that the only column that I can choose from is my location column. So remember, I had that text column of an address. It's not going to work here. So I just wanted to show you that so you see why you need the location column. Now I can choose the zoom level. So I can automatically choose how close I want it to be zoomed in. And you could see how close this is. This is at 20. Let's just say I want to zoom out a little bit. So here I can see the whole street. This is one of the addresses. Now, if I zoom back a little bit, I want to just find the second address. So you can see, I don't think we saw this. Here's the second address. You can see that I have two different addresses on my map. And these are the two addresses that are on my board. So this is really valuable information. If you need to plan a route or something, you can use this map to see where you need to go. Now, two other things that will be helpful is you can use a filter of a person, or maybe you want to filter by group, or you want to filter by date or address. You can filter things, which will put, pull your information to be specified exactly for what you want. Well, the last thing that I wanted to show you is if you open up settings, you also can cl click on this option and you could see the split mode. Sometimes I find this to be really helpful because you can see the information about the order. Plus I see the location and I have the map on top. So if you need to see some more information, you'll be able to do that. I hope that this map view helps you gain valuable insights for using the address column within monday.com. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.